Hello friends, this is Bidhan. Welcome you to my channel. Today I take the problem of classical mechanics based on Lagrangian and Hamiltonian dynamics from December 2013 part B. It says the Hamiltonian of a relativistic particle of rest mass m and momentum p is given by this. This is the Hamiltonian. In units in which the speed of light c equals to 1. Actually, this is a condition that is to be used later in the problem. The corresponding Lagrangian is what? So notice Hamiltonian has been provided and Lagrangian has been asked. This is one dimensional Hamiltonian. How do I say that? Because I see P here but I don't see any term which is P1, P2 etc. So this says that it is a one dimensional Hamiltonian. So to find the Lagrangian we go to the Hamiltonian formulation in one dimension and that is h is equal to p q dot minus l remember this is the hamiltonian formulation but this is not hamilton's equations of motion this is not hamilton's equation of motion this is generally called actually called hamilton's function so hamilton's function is p q dot minus l so we can write this is x dot q dot is same as x dot here we know and L is to be found so L is P x dot minus H we will put the value of H that is P x dot minus root over P square plus M square plus V X this is the Hamiltonian so we have L is equals to P x dot minus root over P square plus M square minus V X so this is the Lagrangian so we may say that we have found out the Lagrangian but remember this is not the right Lagrangian because Lagrangian is always a function of Q and Q dot that means it is a function of position and velocity just like you know that we had seen that Hamiltonian is a function of q and p that means position and momentum this is not required here but see here lagrangian is a function of x and x dot position and velocity but here lagrangian is also a function of p so this p are to be eliminated this momentums are to be this momentum is to be eliminated this momentum is to be eliminated so what we do is we find the value of p in terms of x and x dot and substitute here and how we do that we use the Hamilton's equation of motion for that so we use the Hamilton's equation of motion to find the value of p so there are two equations q dot is equal to del h by del p and P dot is equals to del h sorry minus del h by del q out of these two equations we will use the first equation to find the value of p why because Hamiltonian is a function of p and in this formula this has been divided with respect to p so um, uh, differentiated with respect to p if differentiated with respect to p then the term of p inside the Hamiltonian will get smaller and that is beneficial for us that is why we will use this so q dot in place of q dot we will start writing x dot is equals to del h by del p and del h h is we know h is root over p square plus m square plus vx by del p and this gives us differentiated in the first term we have 1 by 2 root over p square plus m square into 2p plus differentiating vx with respect to p is 0 since it's not a function of p then we see that this and this cancel each other so we are left with x dot is equals to p by root over p square plus m square therefore p is equals to 
x dot into root over p square plus m square so this is p that we should use here but there is one difficulty p is again a function of p so this p is to be eliminated and how we do this we use the ingredients provided in our problem the problem says that this is a relativistic particle so what it means is for a relativized particle let us say that there is an observer and with respect to the observer there is a particle which is at rest with respect to the observer then it has the mass and this mass is actually called the rest mass and velocity is obviously zero since it is at rest with respect to the observer and momentum then mass into velocity is zero again but if with respect to the same observer the mass starts moving at a velocity v then the mass that the observer will see of this body is not m now it has increased this is the relativity and the new mass is 1 by v square by c square and then velocity is what it is when the velocity is v and at that point momentum is what momentum is the new mass into the velocity that is 1 minus v square by c square into v so this momentum is to be used here so we will do that then p is equals to x dot root over now this whole part will be squared so m square v square root over 1 minus v square by c square squared plus m square this is it now two more ingredients now one more ingredient we have been provided we have been provided c is equals to 1 and we will also write v is equals to x dot it is here this is one condition that has been provided so using that we have p is equals to x dot root over m square here v square we will write x dot square is that fine okay by root over 1 minus x dot square now by c square c is 1 and it is squared plus m square so what we have is now p is equals to x dot root over m square x dot square this term is actually 1 minus x dot square because squaring root will get out and taking the LCM we have 1 minus x dot square this plus m square into 1 minus x dot square so we have p is equals to x dot into root over m square x dot square plus m square minus m square x dot square by 1 minus x dot square here these two terms cancel so we are left with x dot root over m square by 1 minus x dot square therefore we have p is equals to x dot m will get out by root over 1 minus x dot square so this is p that is to be used in the Lagrangian where here so we will do that so we will write the Lagrangian that is uh, L is equals to L is equals to that is L is equals to P x dot minus root over P square plus m square minus vx and plugging this p here and here in this place we will get uh, what we will get is l is equals to 
p sorry in place of p we will write x dot m by root over 1 minus x dot square into x dot minus root over now p square p square means x dot square m square by root over 1 minus x dot square whole square plus m square minus finally vx so we have then Lagrangian is equal to x dot square m by root over 1 minus x dot square minus root over this is x dot square m square plus sorry this by 1 minus x dot square plus m square and minus vx so we have x dot square m by root over 1 minus x dot square minus taking lcm inside this is x dot square m square plus m square into 1 minus x dot square minus vx thus we have x dot square m by root over 1 minus x dot square minus root over this is x dot square m square plus m square minus m square x dot square by 1 minus x dot square here minus vx and here also <coughs> these two terms cancel each other so what we are left with is l is equal to x dot square m by root over 1 minus x dot square minus m by root over 1 minus x dot square minus vx so from here we will take m by root over 1 minus x dot square as common so we will left with x dot square minus 1 minus vx and from here we can see we could write this minus and can change it as 1 minus x dot square so we change this using a minus sign by root over 1 minus x dot square so this is 1 minus x dot square to the power 1 and this is root over 1 minus x dot square we know that we could cancel it by root over of 1 minus x dot square yes and obviously there is vx so we have finally that l is equals to minus m root over 1 minus x dot square minus vx so this is the result that we have and this matches with this matches with the second option b is the answer since it is very lengthy there is one thing that this for a single relativistic particle the lagrangian has the standard form of this this is the standard form for the lagrangian that is standard form of the lagrangian for a single particle is l is equals to minus mc square root over 1 minus beta square minus v so this is the standard form and this is also in this form and b is the right answer answer is b Okay, thank you.